against the evil one to put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. Against the evil one, I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Against the evil one, I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's against the powers of this dark world. I'm a Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So you can stand your ground. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I got my war clothes on. In the army of the Lord. I got my war clothes on. In the army. Clothes on
Hello children, welcome to part 3 of our series on winning battles with the armor of God. Today our topic is the breastplate of righteousness. First of all, let's take our identity. I am fearfully made, I am wonderfully made, I know my identity, I am a child of God. I am creative and full of ideas. I am not a slave to fear. I am bold. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am a soldier in the Lord's army. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word we are about to listen to today. We pray that as we go through the full armor of God, that we will remember to always use the armor to fight against the enemy and his evil schemes. Amen. Last week, we discussed about the whole armor of God that Paul advised us to always put on to protect us in the battle against sin. We focused on the belt of truth and how to win the battle by putting on the belt. We discussed some truths that we must always remember. Jesus Christ is God and he loves us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins. We are all sinners and we all need salvation which only comes through Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. And you can find this verse in John chapter 14 verse 6. We must let no one deceive us away from these truths as the serpent deceived Eve. Today's lesson is the breastplate of righteousness. Who is this? Absolutely. His name is Iron Man and he's one of the characters in the Marvel comic series. Can you point out his breastplate? There it is. Why does Iron Man use a breastplate? Now, the Roman soldier. In those days, when Roman soldiers went to war, they had to put on an armor to protect themselves from attack. Paul likened this to how we must always protect ourselves from sin and the attack of the devil. The armor of the Roman soldiers included the breastplate that served as protection for some of the most important parts of the body. For example, the heart, the lungs, etc. Therefore, if a soldier did not wear his breastplate, he was vulnerable to an attack that could result in instant death. Where did Paul get the idea? He put on righteousness as his breastplate and the helmet of salvation on his head. He put on the garments of vengeance and wrapped himself in zeal as a cloak. You can find this in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 13, 17. Do you remember where you can find the book of Isaiah? Is it in the Old Testament or is it in the New Testament? Now, righteousness protects you from the devil. So let's understand what righteousness means. To be righteous means to be in right standing with God. It gives us a general sense of confidence, an awareness of our standing and position in God. To be righteous is achieved by first accepting Jesus as your personal saviour and beginning to live according to his word. Not our own righteousness 
or just a feeling of righteousness, but a righteousness received through faith in Jesus Christ. We enter into his righteousness by our decision to follow him daily. To be righteous means to strive to only do things that glorify God. In other words, you only want to do things that make God happy. How to put on the breastplate of righteousness? Strive to obey the word of God in everything you do. Always refuse to sin against God. Tell your friends about Jesus. Believe what God has said in his word. Do you know any other ways to put on your breastplate of righteousness? Think about it. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 24. And it says, And to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Let's take that again. The memory verse is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 24. And it says, And to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word. Thank you for teaching us how to fight against the enemy and also how to protect ourselves from the enemy using the breastplate of righteousness. Help us to remember your word every time that we are faced with temptations and we do not know what to do. May your Holy Spirit remind us of the word of God so that we can stand and be protected from sinning against God. In Jesus' name, amen. God's story, the armor of God. So part of God's story is about how God gives us armor and it goes like this. When we follow Jesus, we're a part of God's kingdom. And one day, Jesus will recreate a perfect world for the whole family to enjoy with God forever. But until then, we're in a battle, which means we're part of God's family and his army. See, God's enemy, we call him the devil or Satan, has a kingdom too. And he has his own army devoted to tricking us into believing that we can't trust God or that God doesn't really love us or worse, that God's love isn't good enough. Basically, he'll do anything to get us to stop trusting and obeying God. He pretends to be sneaky, like in the Garden of Eden, when he tricked Adam and Eve into trusting him instead of God. But he really wants to destroy us. In fact, the Bible says he is like a roaring lion, looking for people to devour. Yikes! Kids, how would you feel if you were being chased by a roaring lion? Anyway, the good news is, God has given us armor to defend against all of the devil's attacks. And if you're going to be in a battle, you've got to have the right equipment. So the first thing we put on is a belt of truth. That's because Satan is the father of lies. But when we choose to believe the truth that Jesus rescued us and God loves us, it's like we're wearing devil repellent, so the devil's lies can't get through to us. We also get a breastplate of righteousness. Being righteous means always making right choices. Of course, nobody has done that except Jesus. But see, Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. So when we choose to accept his rescue, God sees our sins as gone, which means to him, we are righteous. Satan means the accuser, and he loves to make us feel guilty. But we can defend ourselves by remembering how God sees us. Then come your feet. God covers them with what we need to go and tell people the good news about Jesus, kind of like boots. When more and more people believe in Jesus, the devil can't stand it because God's army and his kingdom are both getting bigger. We don't go into battle empty-handed either. We get a shield and a sword. 
Our shield is faith to block the devil's lies. Worried God won't take care of you? Nope. God promises to give us what we need. Worried God doesn't really love you? Nope. God created you in his own image. Our sword is the word of God, or the Bible. Finally, we get a helmet of salvation, which helps us remember in our heads that Jesus rescued us. We are a part of God's family and nothing can separate us from his love. That's right, nothing. And the best part, we're on the side that wins. So no matter how hard the devil tries to drag us over to his side, he won't be able to. God helps us stand strong and gives us armor we can use in the fight. And that's the story of the armor of God. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. We're in a battle. God has an enemy. God gives us armor, a belt of truth, a breastplate of righteousness, good news boots, a shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and a helmet of salvation. We're on the winning side. So let's put on this armor and fight. And that's a part of God's story.